Oh, look, there's, there are a lot of things. The, the biggest one for me is for the major parties to look coal communities in the eye and say, coal is finished. Within 10 years, we will not be digging any more coal up. We are now going to work with you to come up with the alternatives. The, this zero sum game of, oh, we've got to have coal because there are no other jobs. That is a complete lack of imagination for all of the smarts, all of the, all of the bureaucracy and policy makers, all of the innovation coming out of universities, all of the money sloshing around in Australia's superannuation and all of the innovators and the entrepreneurs to think that we can't do anything other than dig coal up and sell it overseas is just, it, it, it doesn't do a, ser a service at all. So I would want to see, and there should be alternative plans, you know, a, a blue team and a red team both saying, no, our plan's better, rather than, no, no, we're going to continue with the 116 coal, gas and oil projects because we wouldn't dare upset anybody. The, the globe isn't going to want to buy that, our stuff. You know, each time I see someone interviewed from the Hunter or Gladstone or La Trobe, they say, we know coal's good days are numbered, but we still want to live here and we still want to feed our families and pay our mortgages and, and live where we live. So to say we're just going to cut, cut it off, that's not realistic. But to say we're going to continue is also a lie because it, it can't continue. It's about action. This critical decade, yes, being informed is really important. It's a foundation, but it's not the only thing and you don't need perfect information to get going. Um, for a business, for any organisation or any individual, it's, it's about doing and, and acting and influencing, not about worrying and not about guilt. We don't have the time frame for sequential top-down leadership to be the only option. We need community leaders from bottom up. We need business leaders in every business and not just the leader in the business. Anybody in the business can ask the questions, can introduce concepts, can start to say, have we thought of this? Here's an opportunity that I heard about. What can we do? It has to be all of us holding hands and collaboratively stepping forward together because this is the critical decade. We know this is the time, the next eight years, to dramatically cut our, our carbon emissions. There are many other environmental issues, but from a climate point of view, the, the big strides have to happen now and simultaneously, not sequentially.